gone to work with others in the industries, such as WOW, wearable arts, and Weta Workshop. Brian, you can talk about yourself for a bit. My favourite topic is myself. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> No, uh, welcome everybody. It's, it's been a wonderful um, experience yesterday. I got to sit down with all of these wonderful contestants and have chats with them about their garments. Uh, it was really cool to see the skills that they have explored and developed and learned. Uh, and I'm super proud of all of their work. So when we pull them up on the stage, remember to like cheer super loudly because they've worked so, so hard. And I'm super proud of everybody. Back to you, Lisa. Thanks. So, with this competition, we have three categories. We have the junior, the novice, and the open. So, and with that, we end up having some judges' awards, which is technical and everything else, which you've probably heard me say before. But however, our best in show will go from here to from Wellington to represent themselves in Auckland for the NZ Cosplay Cup national winner. This competition is construction based, so all contestants had to submit a construction diary two weeks ago, and judging it, as we said, was held yesterday. Rianne got a closer look at the costumes, we went through the construction process and looked at everything in more detail. Each of these costumes had to be at least 75% made by the competitor. Alrighty, so what we're going to do, each contestant is going to walk to the middle of the stage here. Rianne, show us how it's done. Strike pose, you guys can clap, take photos, and they're gonna make their way off over to this side. Yeah, that side. Every time. Every time. Alrighty, so these costumes are really amazing, so let's cheer really loudly and shall we get started? Let's do this, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Alrighty, first up, we have Alyssa as Hatsune Miku from Vocaloid as our junior solo. Next up, we have Balin Cosplay as Sylvanas Windrunner from World of Warcraft. This piece is beautiful. Uh, it's all made out of foam, there's a bit of wobbler in there. Yes. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, wobbler foam and it's just a beautiful clean finish and she's done a wonderful job. So yeah, big round of applause. Next up we have Casey and Richards as Scrubby and Vargas from Vargas. Don't they look amazing? Next up, we have Chris as Geralt of Rivia from The Witcher. All of the armor on this piece is made out of leather, uh, and it's just absolutely beautiful. The tooling and the embossing work that he's done is stunning. Alrighty, next up we have Grey as Nero from Black Clover. So many feathers, such a beautiful job that they've done on this. Like, getting the seam line between the top and the skirt, like, I could barely tell and they had to point it out to me so it was absolutely stunning. Alrighty, next up we have Raynella the Clown as themselves. Cosplaying from Dr. Stone, Senku, Taiju, Saiku, and Uzariha. Absolutely love the family that cosplays together and this family every year bring it. Uh, it's so cute, the skills 
that they learn every year and the work they produce is just really, really wonderful and adorable. Next up, we have flight nurse known as Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy from Pokemon. And lastly, we have Darcy from Vault 74 as a Vault Dweller from Fallout. If you get a chance to have like a closer look at this, um, you made us a boy from scratch. The programmed it all. It shows up like different things on the screen. Shall we get on to our winners, everybody? Yeah. Alrighty, remember, everyone's worked super hard and I'm proud of everybody. So I need all of the applause, all the cheers, all the, you know, feet stomping, everything, just to show our support and our love for these wonderful contestants. First up, we have a technical award. Cool, this goes to Kaysen Richards.